Good evening. Tonight's guest is, she's just brilliant. She's a little ray of sunshine on Instagram. It's Cher Webb, makeup artist. She does a little bit of skincare. She knows a lot about fragrance. I'm gonna try and get her part back for part two when we do, instead of just best beauty buys, I think I should start doing some fragrances ones because people who really love fragrance and are passionate about it, and she really knows her stuff. There you go, view requests. She comes straight in. If she doesn't have a big bouquet of flowers, I shall be very surprised. <laughs> Where are you, Cher? Hello! Hi, Nadine! <laughs> How are you? I'm so well. I hope you're well too. Can I just say, if you popped up and you had a huge bouquet of flowers by the side of you, I would be surprised. <laughs> always, always the peonies. Have you had a blow dry today? Sorry? Have you had a blow dry today? No, I did this myself. What have you used for those waves? They look uh, amazing. The super large jumbo, biggest you can get. Babylon. Yeah, I know the one you have. And... Is it that one? Yeah, oh, it's the best. It's the Mine only one I like use. That. Mine's very old and very slightly. Tacky, I've got the original styling products. I've got the original one with the silver little bit that you stand it on as well. But this one is mega. It's the only one I can use to get waves that look like they're not too done. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? My hair before I went grey was really similar to yours, so quite blonde and quite fine, but really held a wave well. And now I've gone grey, so this is all coloured. It tends to be a bit more sort of frizzy and a bit fuller. So I have to calm it down. I love that tong. It's idiot -proof. I love it. I wish my hair was as full as yours, though. I'm forever using dry shampoo to thicken it up. That's my one thing. That's the Fine. best dry shampoo ever. Ever. <laughs> ever. Right, okay, so we're going to have so much in common. Can I just say at this point, I found out when I originally asked Cher to do this, she said, I really can't because I'm going away for my mum's birthday. And then I found out her mum is my age. <laughs> Literally, I was like, next time you're coming with us to the party. Literally, the Dean. We went to DJ Fat Tony's Fat Brunch and it was unbelievable, honestly. If you want to dance all day, bed by 10, best day out. I have a sneaky suspicion your mum and I, if your mum's watching tonight, take me out clubbing, Cher's mum. <laughs> Literally, we'll hold you to that. She comes up here all the time, I swear. She dances more than I do. I swear. <laughs> There's something about my generation. We're 80s women. That's what it is. That's what it is. Exactly. Thank you for having me on tonight. I love these beauty buys. I honestly, I watch them all. I love them all. So also, can I just say what's so nice about them? It gives me the chance to speak to people of different ages, different skin tones, different skill factors. I could watch your live makeup tutorials and your makeup tutorials every single day. For people that don't know, and everybody should know you, because I know because I've had so many DMs saying I'm so excited Cher's going to be on. <sighs> Tell everybody your background. Okay, so I've been in the industry about 20 years, but I started off at Mac on the counter doing one day a week and worked my way up. And I was a senior artist for them for about eight years. I think that's where we met. And basically I left Mac five years ago and I do everything from red carpet to social stuff on here as well. So it's like a full 360. But I love the fact that with this kind of, the whole thing about social media is I love the fact that I can do like these three products in three minutes and make everything accessible and less complicated so that we can buy one product and use it everywhere. Because we see so many things, like for example, one of these blushes, I'd use lips, cheeks and eyes from Bobby. Like, I don't know, I, I want to bring that kind of ease back into makeup and make it less kind of complicated and scary and like you don't need 10,000 brushes kind of vibes. What I love is I love your kind of your, your tutorials. They're, I mean, I obviously you do really clever editing and they look amazing, but when you do them live in real time, actually you really do inspire me because you're like just stick your finger on it and it'll be fine and then blend this out and I'm like <laughs> and can I just say the fact that I've gone much more corally goldeny is directly inspired by you because I love the tones you use oh my god amazing I was gonna say you've got a nice coral on your cheek I can see it washed over your eyes and the lips so it's like a monochrome look you've got going on which is all I'm all about one product for the eyes lips and cheeks and just make it work like back of a taxi kind of job do you know what I mean <laughs> I, think, I think you're a bit more skilled than back in the taxi. Right, where do we start, Cher? I haven't put any brief to Cher, apart from she can just choose her favourite things she absolutely loves and comes back time and time again. So you start wherever you want right. to start. This was so hard. So I've got a section here for fragrance. I know we did say we're going to do a separate live for that because we could talk for hours about it. I've got skincare in the middle and I've got makeup. So I've like got all my kit favourites. So I'll start with those and we will delve into skincare as well. But I've got to start with base and it's a base that 
I was using when I was working for MAC, but it's not a MAC foundation, let's just say. It's one that's been around forever, and it's Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Beautiful. I just love it. Every makeup artist loves it. It's great for every sort of occasion, from your everyday to your red carpet. And it's the kind of OG of the kind of radiance. Obviously, the trend is all about the glow, but this was around before any of those priming products or those glowy products were here. So it's like the original deal, and they haven't changed it. The bottle's still the same. I just think they're way ahead of the game, and that's why it'll always be in my makeup kit, always. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, right? So that that fragrant, that fragrance uh, foundation's got to be 10 years old, right? Literally over 10 years. I'm going to pop okay. some I have a sneaky suspicion that Pat McGrath helped create that. I think she did. So there's definitely a really famous makeup artist that helped with this, because there's no way that they would have basically created this and then it stayed the exact same formula all this time and the shade range. Like they've got the undertones, everything about it. So I just love it. It's what definitely brush are you be... using there? So this is actually a new discovery. It's a Vive brush. And I just love the fact that it's the 117 foundation brush. It's a perfect size. So it fits into all the nooks and crannies. But the most frequent question I get asked is, which brush should you use for the Chanel bronzer? I probably get asked it about 50 times a day because I love that bronzer. Um, this goes nicely with liquid foundation, but also with the bronzer. So if you want one brush, and you can even sweep products over the eye. It's not too big. It's not something that's like gigantic like this, which I do also love. It's, that, could all, that almost is too big to use on every single thing. Is that, that the dual end hourglass one? Yes. It's amazing. It's, I mean, dual ended brushes, Beauty Pie have an amazing one as well, actually. And what I love is when you can pop this in your makeup bag and then you've got one to do like your contouring here. So to kind of sculpt the face and then you've got your bigger side to do your bronzing with. So why have one when you can have two? Do you know what I mean? It is very long though to put in your makeup bag. It, it How is big is your makeup bag, Sherwin? <laughs> it's more like my handbag, I guess, which gets really messy. Otherwise, you're like that. You've got that kind of thing going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know uh, what I mean? But, it's um, just that that brush is so beautiful and luxurious. I feel like I don't I would want to never wedge it want into it. my makeup I would never bag. want to ruin it. But if you want a retractable one, this is handy, isn't it? Yeah. So Charlotte Tilbury's the airbrush, and then yeah. this also works well. Let's put some of this bronzer on as we're chatting. By the way, it's a very loved le beige bronzer <laughs> if you got one there <laughs> i literally no i literally was using mine i've got it virtually all over my face i'll even wear it as an eyeshadow and i i literally i was brushing it today and i thought what's that white bit of lint in the middle i suddenly realized i'd hit pan on you it. haven't hit pan oh my god that's so satisfying i mean when you first buy it it looks i don't know if this is a newer one but it looks kind of like a a bit more in like embossed in like the perfect kind of like you could almost eat it has a certain smell to it and it's actually now got three shades so they had the the one shade and they went to two and now i went to the like the press thing today they've got three they've got a light i'm glad you heard about that because i haven't heard okay so which which shade have they gone so they, they have the original then they have a darker one have they gone even darker they've gone in the middle of those two okay All right. but i think there will be more put it that way i mean listen every time i mention that product and that is universally the bronzer that most people on these videos choose we all say it should come in more colors so oh, they must have listened to us if people yeah. like sam chapman and nick chapman and you and i are going more shades chanel Absolutely. at least they're listening to us i think they're going to need about 10 shades until we all shut up <laughs> they need honest. to go much darker and i do they think really do. they could go lighter as they well they need to go lighter like really super light as well but that's yeah that's my i mean i wouldn't go out the house without this in my makeup kit i probably would turn around and go and get it I think it's yeah. almost like an expectation if you're doing a makeup and you don't have it in your kit. It's almost a bit like, well, what's going on? That's one of those kind of ones. I tell you what's completely unique about it. I'm generally a, a matte flat powder bronzer person, but I love there's something about that and it is truly unique. It's got a kind of soft focus, filtery it effect gives, to it. It gives you, um, the days you're wearing no makeup, let's so you put your SPF on, you're running out the door. If you just put this on, it does give you coverage. It gives yeah. you a bit of the Paris filter. I don't know what's in it, but it definitely does have a base of some sort going through I, it. I have friends who've got better skin than I have who just wear a bit of concealer and that, and that, that and mascara, that's all they wear all day. And you're absolutely right for everybody said that. They definitely need refills as well. They do need refills. You've hit pan. I cannot, you need to send me a photo after that. I need to see it. 
Yeah. Is it looking like, how's it looking the rest of it though? I mean, it's seen better days. <laughs> Let's be honest. I, I would have had it here if I'd have known. Literally, I was like, that's what, and I was scraping it thinking there's a bit of white lint on it and I suddenly realised I've hit pan on it. Also, my other top tip is if you're going to buy it, please keep the inner plastic seal, right? Because it comes with a little plastic seal. And remember to put the lid on because yes, I love otherwise you, you will go out, it. you will leave it and you'll come back and it'll start to dehydrate and crack from the edges. So put the lid back on people. I love that you always share that tip because the MAC paint pots, I love. If you leave the lid off, this is what happens, right? It goes and it shrinks. And so yeah. when I see even makeup artists at shows and they've got they've left it up, I go over and my automatic thing is to turn it over. That's where Stop the getting all the, or, yeah, see, you're smart. You see, I would put the lid on, but you guys leave <laughs> everything out because you need it to hand. But you just want to start turning them over. You, it over. you can almost feel them sort of, they're a little bit like a plant in the corner. So I literally like, give me some going, water. Help me. Sort me out, please. And it's like, there you go. And once they go like that, it's really hard to reactivate them. They yeah. do say you can add like some oils and stuff, but I don't know with the formula how it goes. And then what happens is the whole thing then kind of falls out. But yeah. groundwork paint pot, like when I left Mac, I was like, right, what do I need to really stock up on? Like what are my ultimate desert island favorites? And groundwork as a base, I've got loads of stick like bases that I love, which I'll show you guys in a minute as well. But there's something about this. There is something about groundwork. I don't really know like the undertone's quite cool. And so it's the same sort of thing as the Chanel bronzer or any sort of bronze on the eye, but it's cooler and there's no shimmer going through it. So it just gives you a socket line, which doesn't look like you've got any makeup on. It's clever. Really and I clever. Just think... Also, can I just say, look how quickly she's applying that and that's how quickly <laughs> she blends. She's complete inspiration. She really is. Like she two really seconds is. in that socket line and almost like you can just go back and forth like a windscreen yeah. wiper with it, but no hard lines with it. No, you manage to talk, do your makeup, and I'm always looking at you going, but you're looking into the camera, you're not looking into the mirror. So you, you just have, you have really good eyesight, right? Well, I've got a full set of lighting here, and Nadine, I need to go and get my eyes checked at Specsavers or whatever, but I hate when they do that thing where they blow the air in your eye. So it's putting me off going. That's it's terrible. all right if they don't tell you, but if they tell you it's coming, you're like... Yeah, and the one eye is fine, then the next eye you're like, I just, and I'm avoiding it, which is terrible. I shouldn't be doing that because I know you've got to get your eyes checked, but the amount of lighting that we sit in front of must affect the eyes. But also I just think there's something about makeup artists that you concentrate so much and you look so closely. It's so taxing on your eyes. It really is. Yeah, and do you know what? When I'm doing my live on a Sunday, which is like all the music on, all the comments coming through and trying to do makeup and then someone's like, you haven't answered me. I'm like, I'm so sorry, like, <laughs> I'm trying to literally do an eyeliner at the same time, but multitasking at its best. <laughs> right, let's go in next with the Westman Atelier. I mean, I just love the shade Petal. I love all of her products, but I think this one, again, it's just, I think I love cream products the most because they just make the skin look so, like, uber natural. But you like more matte shades, don't you? I just think, well, you ask your mum, right? I feel like we need to do a three-way with your mum. If yeah. you've got perfect, flawless skin, I love a cream finish. This is obviously a cream bronzer, and I've got a cream base on and everything. But as you get older, you do need to mattify your centre panel, just as your skin becomes slightly less perfect. That's all. I put everything cream on, and then I just mattify my centre panel. Okay, so that's the Westman Atelier. And is it is it petal? Is it just called Cheek Stick? What's it called? It's called, let's see again my eyesight. It is the Baby Cheeks. Okay. What blush have you got on? I'm not sure if I'm allowed to mention this. Oh, is it a secret one? No, because I put it on my stories and they made me take it down. It's the new really intense pigmented benefit <gasps> blushes. Have they been sent to you? Not yet, but I now need them. Is it powder or is it cream? What is it? It's powder and it is very intensely pigmented. So sometimes I look at myself and I'm looking a bit sort of, you know, Miss Sally and I need to rub it in know. a bit better. But sort of from is it watching people like you, I've learned I shouldn't really wear a pink cheek. I should wear much more coral colours. And it's the most intense orangey coral colour. It's beautiful. But I put it on my stories and then they said, oh, thank you so much, but it's embargoed. It's going into booth. <laughs> we probably shouldn't even be talking about it now. I literally am about to go and order one after, but it's not even out yet. 
If somebody sends me something and I like it, I'm just like, oh, look at that. Same here, same here, all the way. Now this is great, again, you can get your fingertips in it, right? So I like the products that you, where you don't need any sort of brushes. So you can literally, like you can put it on the eye if you want like a bit of a rosy hint on the eye. I mean, I would use it on the lips. I mean, I don't ever know if these products are completely safe, but I mean, until you get- If they'll go on the lips, eye, they'll go on the lip, they're fine. Exactly, I I'm just I like, I really wouldn't worry about it. You just need a bit of gloss over the top. Yeah, exactly. But that's what I really like on the cheek, that sort of vibe. And I always sort of think with Gucci Restman, like the way she's created her products, I was going to ever have a brand this is the kind of vibe I just love it I love yeah. it is that I think that's refillable as well isn't it that they're all refillable and the, she's got a lovely at Christmas time they do actually a smaller version of all of these sticks so perfect for the handbag like really cute this one's a highlighter did you ever uh, meet Gucci when she was the creative director of Revlon no but I wish I had I literally she's, she's really she's a de fundamentally decent human being and I feel like her if you were to, to if I was to look at somebody a, you know a really big makeup artist and go who has the most share type technique it's her she was all about fingers and touching and blending and using the warmth of her fingers and the skin she's just a fundamentally decent human is she being lovely in real life because oh, yeah. her videos for me do you know what they're really calming like, I don't ever see her being like a diva. I think she's always, you know, she's backstage. I think she brings along with her a really lovely, relaxed persona. And I, she kind of, was, I love that. She is married to one of the co-founders of Rag and & Bone. And also, can I just say, I love Rag & Bone. So do I. They're How like cool the epitome of that New York, upstate, chic, trendy, understated couples. I, mm. I've and never met him, got, but I really like her. She's always got great jewellery on. And her hair. She's just yeah. She's, I think everything. she's probably, she's a few years younger than me, but she's probably mid fifties. If you think about that rag and bone thing, she'd always have a really cool pair of slouchy jeans on and a sort of, you know, an off the shoulder t-shirt or something or a jumpsuit. You're just like effortless, effortlessly cool. Just literally so effortless, isn't she? Yeah. Um, I'm going to talk about a, pow a powder bronzer. Um, actually, no, powder blush. Where is it? Orgasm. It's got to be here. I've got to show you Orgasm because it's from NARS and it's one that I've literally used since the very beginning. Where are you? I tell you, I've got so many products. I here. can honestly say that if if I don't mind having a little bit of shimmer in a bronzer, there isn't was... anything that NARS makes that has the word Orgasm on that I don't love. I mean, do you love the actual, like these as well? Yeah. Because, I mean, would you wear that, though? Would you wear yeah, the cream I would. version? Yeah, I wear, I wear the Afterglow lip balm. I wear the NARS Orgasm blush. I just, anything with NARS Orgasm, the NARS Orgasm palette, there's something about those corals that just summer, they, they sum up summer to me. I love them. And they do have a hint of gold running through them. So if you haven't got a highlighter on, you can literally just sweep it up. And you've got yeah. the best of both worlds with it. Again, and my advice really... is if you're if you're my age and you your lines are starting to go down here, right? Just keep it on that cheek bit there because otherwise, every so often you will look in the mirror and go, "Oh, I've got a bit of glitter in my wrinkles." You've got amazing skin. I want to just ask what your primer is or what your base is that you're using because you look so. I pretty I pretty much always wear the same base every day, and it is a Borium uh, BB cream SPF. 30 Which one do you use? Because I love in Dore. Dore, yeah. I, 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 I don't so put fun. my face in the sun ever, but I like to add a little bit of colour with my makeup because I am a little bit paler under this. So, have you got a base underneath it? Uh, no, I don't. I never put primer on. I mean, you're talking to a makeup doofus. Yeah, but you share. It looks like you've got something glowing through. It's something like Skin Nova from Vive. Have you tried this? Yeah, no, that's that's literally just skincare. That's a lot of skincare under there. <laughs> <laughs> Layers. You're like, I don't need another layer. But honestly, if you were looking for that real radiant without like wearing any makeup, then this is amazing. Again, it's a newish product to my kit. But if you were to ask me in my top 10 products that I've just discovered, this is like in my top three. I of love it. All of those slightly light reflective primers that have been launched in the last three years, that's the nicest one. That's the most flattering one. Yeah. And isn't Jamie absolutely the most delightful human being? I love her. I love her and I've watched her tutorials and like YouTube from the very beginning. So I watch them every week and I just say, and I, I just watch them. I love, I love her and Jack and the dogs, honestly. When I, I went to the pop-up of her um, pop-up store in Covent Garden and I cornered her and I said, 
enough making up your own face. It's too perfect. Come and make up this old face. And she's agreed to film with me. We're just oh my God. Dating. Amazing. Do you know what? I would love to do her makeup. I would, her skin. Can you imagine? I, I, I mean, she's just got it. beautiful skin. Also, I loved it when you did your mum's makeup as well. Oh my God. Do you know what? We want to do more of those. I loved it. I'll happily let you do my makeup. Are you kidding me? I would me? love to. Let's do. I just, I think, I think they're, that for me, obviously, I represent an older woman on Instagram and YouTube and stuff like that. I just find it really inspirational. I mean, your mum is a great looking woman, obviously. She basically looks like your older sister. But just to watch her face come alive as you did her makeup. But your makeup is very subtle. I mean, imagine what Jamie's going to do to me. <gasps> I can't wait to see I it. want everything. I can't I want wait. Can I just come over brow? and just be part everything. of it? Can I just come and watch from your house? I'll look after the cats. I have a sneaky suspicion we're going to do it in town somewhere. So if you want to come along, come along. I will be there. I will be there. I was going to I'll tag Emma Dawson under this and she'll organise it. That's uh, Jamie <laughs> Let's do it. Here. Let's do it. Where are the cats, by the way? Uh, one of them is... Hold on a second. Go and get them because I know they've got their own Instagram. So they're like little celebrities. No, but... they've gone... They're not interested, Cher, yeah, they've gone out. It actually is their witching hour, it's their time for going out. I thought that sometimes I see them about behind you, like I thought they might have come and joined us. He was sitting there earlier on, but this is the time, see, when the, the end of the day, the, so when the sun comes up and when the sun goes down, that's their witching hour. Otherwise they just sleep and eat. Are they like related though, are they siblings? They're brothers. They're brothers, gorgeous. Little um, brother rescue cats, yeah. Are they both rescues? I love that they've got their own Insta. I love Amazing. that somebody knows it as well, that it's at go my gorgeous glaring, and I, somebody's just put that in. <laughs> They've got thousands of followers. I love it. Well, I want to show you the Vive, the skin, the skin juice, um, the skin over, sorry, on the cheeks. So this is like, you can use this under makeup, over makeup. I even use it on my body, like along the, this part here, if I've got like a low cut top on, but it's great in the kit because you can basically mix your foundations with this. So if you're using something that you want to shear down a bit, like the double wear, let's say someone is adamant they want to wear it, but you want to give it that, you know, that longevity, but keep the glow going on, you can mix this with it. So you can mix it with your products to shear it down. But yeah, this is- I mean, dream. I think for somebody your age, it would look amazing 50-50 with a foundation, but for somebody your mum's and my age, literally just across the top there, down there, a little bit on the lip, maybe on the nose. It's, how would you describe it? Because it's not a sparkle and it's not really no, that's a what shimmer. I like about it. Is that Because I think the sparkle, especially on the tip of the nose and things, it's so Instagram-y kind of vibe, right? This is more authentic, sort of, you've just been to the beach, you've got a bit of, it's a bit that kind of healthy sheen. Like That's what it know, is, it's a sheen. It's, it's a, a sexy sheen. sheen. You're in love. It's that kind of like honeymoon love vibe. It's like, it's just, oh my God, you look like you've had about 25 hours sleep. When and lots of good sex. It. And lots of, I was going to say it's an orgasm glow without, you know, not saying nars. It's that, that actual, you know, post-orgasm feeling. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. It. It's a really, really clever product. It really is. So that's an absolute favourite. I'm going to um, talk about SPF because I'm going to Spain on the weekend. So I literally have been sorting them out. Where are you going? Right. I'm doing a boot camp. And it's, um, it's basically going to be for five or six, day six days going on my own. It's not the boot camp official, it's a different one. And basically it's, I just need to challenge myself and do this because I'm, I've got a Peloton, I do it every day, but I need to immerse myself into a whole different fitness kind of regime. And obviously I had IVF for four years and so you are inhibited of what you can and can't do. So having a break from that, so this is my, I'm gonna come back as Jet from the Gladiators, you just watch me. Honestly, I'm really jealous. I, every time I see somebody, somebody recently posted a story and they were doing some sort of juice, body camp, boot camp. I can't remember who it was. And I was Who's like, Lisa Potter Dixon? She's out there now. That's who it was? It's Lisa, yeah. And I, she looked, I mean, she looks beautiful. She looked amazing anyway. Lisa, you need to come on and do this. And I just thought, I, I never, I'm on Instagram. I never have FOMO. And I just thought, I really want to do that. Yeah. I mean, we're going to be flipping tires and like, I don't know. Yeah. I hope you've got to jump into ice cold baths, all those kind of things. Yeah. So you are you going to do a digital <laughs> detox or are you going to film some of it? I think I'm going to maybe film some of it, but I am going to do a detox. I've not done one of those before from Instagram. So maybe a little bit. It'd be really strange. I think I kind of need to do this. 
No, listen, listen, I totally get it. I also get the fact that I couldn't resist if it was me. I wouldn't be able to resist filming little bits of Literally, it. Literally, I am going to film, but I also might just take, you know, a little bar of like, I don't know, Galaxy in the, in the bag. Just, I just can't imagine going back in and not having a little bit of something from the mini bar. M&M's. I, I mean, I'll be <laughs> We're doing a holiday. On a couple of occasions, I've done kind of quite hardcore, they call them detoxes. They're just extreme diets. And do you know the one thing I miss? Oh, I do miss my Pepsi Max. Do you not love Coke Zero? No, I'm a Pepsi Max girl. I do love a Pepsi Max. So the thing is, I've tried to cut down all week on the Pepsi Max or the Coke Zero. I'm trying to, like, literally, because I have maybe a can a day. How many do you have of those bottles? Oh, that would last me a good day and a half. Right. Do you yeah. prefer the bottle or a can? I prefer the bottle because you get more in it and you can put the lid back on. <laughs> but that that's the hardest thing, is actually, for me, it's not missing the... Because it's very interesting because when you're abroad and it's hot and you don't have access to your Disney normal food, drink. I tend not to crave foods, but God, I miss Disney caffeine. Drinks. Yeah. See, I don't drink tea or coffee because I don't like the taste of coffee. Do you not? No. 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 I, honestly, I secretly think your mum isn't your mum. I secretly think I am your mum, <laughs> chef. <laughs> That's so funny because you know what? At Fashion Week, everyone's like backstage 5 a.m. and like all the Americans are like, I can't function without my coffee. I'm like, is it too early to have a Diet Coke? Is it too early to like, because everyone looks at you like, uh, but I'm like, I haven't had this hit that you've had in that kind of like, you know. Yeah, listen, listen, the times I turn up on set, I would do live tea or whatever. And I would just walk in with that and they go, <laughs> tea, coffee, breakfast. I went, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm exactly the same. That's going to be the hardest thing next week is not having that caffeine. I can live And are they the insistent way. that you don't have caffeine? Because if, if they're offering coffee to people, which they normally do, because coffee's not bad for you, I think you can argue to take a few Pepsi Maxes. Right, or... I'm taking some in the suitcase. That is literally it, because we are up at the crack of dawn running around the beach at like 7 a.m. Yeah. This might be the last time you see me. <laughs> you, honestly, you're going to love it. The weather's going to be really lovely out there. Do you know roughly where in Spain you're going to be? Which you're going to be in Marbs. In oh. Marbella somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah, I've got one day tomorrow to get everything sorted. I, I really selfishly want you to film it all, but I can't I am probably going to. You would like. I definitely probably will. Um, mm. I'm going to put some mascara on now because, on. honestly, right. So, high impact mascara from Clinique. This was the product that I first kind of discovered when I was in my teens, and my mum's always used this. And they've reintroduced a new one recently, like, like a gravity lifting one, zero gravity, which is amazing as well. But my mum's used this since I was probably about 13, 14. So it's been around forever and I just love it. The Tell one... me what you love about it. Describe the brush because right. I think that makeup artists like different mascaras to doofuses like me. Right, so the, the brush doesn't have loads of product on it. So it's not messy. It's not too wet. The formula's not so wet that it makes a real mess on the face. It doesn't smudge. And I've used this on clients. And again, it's one that, suits every sort of lashes short lashes long lashes curly ones straight ones and it just i mean i've got mascara on already and i love that what my mom says is like you know when you're out in the day and then you go into the pub in the evening and you can basically get your high impact out put it back on and just reapply it but for some reason you don't end up getting clumpy it lashes. doesn't clump yeah that, so that's just, such a rare quality in a really good mascara it really is because you could end up with those like three twiggy lashes, which yeah. you know, like they all kind of clump together. But somehow you can comb through the original mascara that you've got on and it works. Yeah. That's and a real rarity. I can probably name only about four mascaras that can actually do that. And is, it, is it a traditional metal fiber sort of fur tree brush or is it a plastic uh, bendy one? Fur. So, I mean, yeah. I do like the plastic ones, um, but I still prefer the fibery vibes. Yeah old school but I remember I used to steal this from my mum in the bathroom I'd be like that before school like putting it on Literally. your mum is so much cool the only thing that my mum ever used was oil of yule oh I love it I love the smell though and uh uh max factor creme puff oh yeah and, I and then a lipstick it. what lipstick was it uh she would go through different colors but mainly heather shimmer heather shimmer coffee shimmer rimmel vibes love it I used to love black cherry Mum wears Paloma, Paloma Picasso fragrance, right? I don't have it here, but I need it. Oh. The bottle. You, you can tell your mum's my age because when I was a poor 
student and then later when I first became a beauty editor I remember the most chic women used to wear Paloma Picasso it's the smell of it's the smell of New York it's the smell of sexy nightclubs oh how amazing it lasts on the skin I feel like how have I not got one of those here in my collection I just don't have it but she's got one at home and she's got an unboxed one she's always like do you want to have it I'm like no this is your fragrance but I do need one here has it, it hasn't told me it's been discontinued. No, it's still around, but I just always sort of think it's one that I don't ever see. I don't ever see it in stores. I don't kind of walk past and see it. So. It was launched, I think, even before I became a beauty editor, and I've been at it for like 33 Who's years now. But do you, do you also remember, because um, I remember her coming to London once and she launched all her lipsticks. Do you remember the lipsticks? They've all been discontinued. Studio 54, you're absolutely right, Linda. Oh uh, my God, yeah. I love it. Yeah, she used to have lipsticks as well. It was amazing. She's so chic. What were the lipstick packagings like? Really similar. So basically, uh, the shape like I think they had. I actually, do you know what? I think Pat McGrath took that idea because they had lips on the outside. <gasps> Her lipsticks and the little love hearts on them are just yeah. amazing, aren't they? Yeah. And so pigmented. Let's do a lipstick now, actually. Go on. Um, I love the Guerlain these lipsticks, which have the little mirrors. And I don't know if it's more the packaging that I love or actually the formulas. Um, it's so heavy, Cher. So heavy. But when, if you're looking for a gift for someone, either it's someone's birthday or they're getting married or anything like that, this one was a, I think it was a Valentine's Day special or Christmas one. But the actual like packaging itself is £27 and then it's refillable. So you keep this and then you just, if you wanted to change from a nude to a red to a burgundy, whatever you wanted to do, a berry lip, you just buy this. So it does. I look... remember I was writing a piece at Christmas for the Times and they said, you know, top 20 Christmas idea. And I chose that. I and I said, think, listen. Who would not love that? Who wouldn't love it? And they're they do so heavy different. for those who haven't felt them. Yeah, they lift like... up, they've got an inbuilt mirror, they click them. Oh, they're just. They're, They're like little works of art. What colour is that, Cher? This shade here is, let's have a look, uh, number 254. Okay. And yeah, so it's like, this is a gorgeous red, but they also do marbleized packaging. They do a suede one, a leather one, like almost like embossed with like animal print, all that kind of thing. If you go into somewhere like Selfridges or Harrods or something, they've literally got rows of them. You can choose yeah. your finish, you can choose your, I mean, they're just beautiful. Beautiful, Less beautiful, than 30 beautiful. pounds, less than 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. And you would look at it and think, do you know what? That's gonna be really spenny. And at Christmas, they do limited edition ones that go up to hundreds of pounds. <gasps> I wonder if they can do personalised ones. I just love it. It's one of my I think at some time they were engraving them, but I don't know if they have personalised ones. I'm going to do a nude lip and then I am going to put a bright lip on. But this go is Dandekai lipsticks, right? This one's called Jasmine. It's part of their new collection, but you can see already how much I've used. Also, I love to see the shape of people's lipsticks. Okay, because it says a lot about how they are, their lip shape and how they kind of apply their lipsticks. And my auntie's lipsticks are always completely flat. My mum's always has like a curve going through it, like an S. And mine always has that kind of shape there. But look, it basically is balmy, but nude. It smells amazing, moisturising. Like, honestly, it's one of the absolute best for an everyday shade. What's the exact name and shade of that? Because people will be asking. It's Jasmine, it's Lip Chic. They're called the Lip Sheets, these ones. They have permanent shades, but Jasmine's part of the new giraffe collection. Um, but I do love Shantakai. Earlier today, under this sort of nudie colour, I put on last year's Tiger, which is a really deep coral red colour, and it would look, <gasps> you'd love it. It's beautiful. Is it the same texture as this? As this? Yeah. I kind of like it, and I this. love that texture. So it's like a pigmented balm. It's beautiful. Yeah. Really That's beautiful. That's how it goes on like that. And again, yeah. you can use it on your cheeks. So if you're ever in a rush, you want to just add a bit of a glow to your cheeks, you just use that. I'm going to take it off and put another lipstick on because there is one from Tom Ford that if they ever discontinued it, I would be literally heartbroken. And it's called Pink Dusk. And Pink Duck? Dusk. 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 Pink Dusk. And it's shade number seven. And uh, I just, I mean, look at it. It's all a bit mashed inside, which is a good sign. Loved. Loved. Yeah, it's been loved. Well loved. It's been everywhere. Parties all over the place. And this, again, it's a similar sort of colour, but it's a really good one for like brides, red carpet, that kind of thing. Beautiful. It's just fresh. Yeah. These textures are lovely. And I do love the Tom Ford packaging. I mean, yeah, who doesn't love a bit of Tom Ford? Can I just say also that you do have this ability to choose those perfect neutrals. 
the difference between me and a professional makeup artist is you can see undertones so clearly and identify them. Really? It's, think it's so. a skilled eye you have. Right. It's, it's weird because if I go to like, if I look at the foundation, I can sort of think, right, do you know what? Like, for example, in this one, in the light one, I know straight away that that's going to be good. Whereas the one that's slightly darker, I can almost tell straight away. It's weird that over the years you kind of pick that up. Well, yeah, you see not only in colour, you see an undertone as well. Every brilliant makeup artist has that skill. It's, it's the way you've been trained. It's really clever. Can I do one more nude? Yeah. <laughs> beige oh, beige you can't have enough nude lipstick, <laughs> share. I'm like, this is my fave. No, this is my fave. Right, Beige to PT from Sisley. Um, it's shade number 11. And it's this one here. And... Okay. It's again, the shape of this, it's just, look at that. So it's carved so beautifully. And then again, it's, this is more of a brown undertone. And what brand did you say that was? Disley. A bit more 90s, this one. This would go lovely with Mac Spice Lip Pencil, which again is like an icon. I want to let And you. really thin Kate Moss eyebrows. Oh my goodness, well, thin brows are back in apparently. Thank God. She, uh, Charlotte Tilbury worked with her on one of the events. And I can't remember if it was the Met or one of the other ones and I wrote underneath bring back Kate Moss original thin eyebrows because Kate still has really thin eyebrows she does and she looks she amazing does. with them and she's always suited them and you know what I always try and get my brows a little bit thicker but if you've got naturally thin brows it's always a challenge to get them a little bit more bushy right or just a bit fatter I do love this though from Blink Brow Bar it's their clear brow set and I've tried so many over the years, but this one is like a flexible, imagine you put mousse into your, like, into your roots of your hair and it gives you just a bit more of a lift. This one, it pushes them up, but they don't look like laminated to the point where they're like, do you know what I mean? And you can again reapply this over it and it's not crunchy. Do you know what I mean by the crunchy? I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. I can't deal with crunchy brows. But this is a flexible one. And Blink Brow Bar, I mean, they just are amazing for everything brow and lash related. So I was so pleased. Anybody listening, if you're going to be tempted to go and have your eyebrows threaded and dyed and Blink Brow Bar are second to none. And the good news is that they are, they've partnered with John Lewis. So if there's a John Lewis near you or one of those branded department stores. My mum is 86. She has her eyebrows done in Blink Brow Bar every six weeks. Which one does she go to? A Kingston. Does she? What Bentles? Yeah. She goes to Bentles in Kingston and every time we turn up, my mum's always on time, except when she's having her eyebrows done. She comes out, she goes, I'm sorry, I was at Blink Brow Bar. Oh, I love And it. she uses the pencil and everything. She loves them. I didn't know they had a Blink Brow Bar in Bentles. That's my first job at Mac. I started in Bentles. One day a week. I'm in so Kingston? In Kingston. I lived, I moved from Southampton to London, which was Kingston. And I basically worked one day a week at Mac. They offered me four hours. I was like, mum, I'm off to the big smoke for my four hours a week. She's like, right, okay, fine. Your rent is going to be this much. So I basically worked in Wagamama's full time and then worked in Mac six, my six hours a week and then just worked my way up. Thank you very much. Somebody saying it's in John Lewis, actually. Good to know. Good to know. I love I'll that. I'll be really honest with you. Once I go in that really big shop, I don't know what I really can't tell you where I am in Kingston. Exactly. And I also love that Cher thought Kingston was London. How sweet. <laughs> I know. I moved to London. I'm in Kingston, literally. Oh, I love that. Look, I'm just taking down the shine. Um, with... And what have you used there? Sorry, I've been too busy gossiping with you. This one, it, this is Shiseido's Synchro Self Refreshing like Press. So I love the liquid version. But if you want to take down the shine and you want a little bit of coverage at the same time, using a My Kitco brush, and I just always go, it's good to be glowy in the right places. One thing I always say is that you can't be fully, you can have a full glow, but I just think you need to have some dimension where you take the shine kind of out of this area here, like you were saying well, earlier. Forehead. Also, can I say to everybody watching this, right, look how tiny the brush share is I using would never to mattify her face. I know. Right, and when I see people saying, oh, you know, you've, I've got a gl glowy foundation, but it's looking really matte when I add my powder. I'm like, which brush are you using? I would even use something as small as this, like an eye blending brush, because you've got to be so specific. And with concealer, I actually use like a small brush like this. And what I'll do is if I've got like a blemish here, I'll add onto that and then use my fingertip. Yeah. If you use something that's too big, you're going to blur the, the concealer or everywhere. So just use a tiny brush and just literally dab it on that area yeah the, name, i need the number of the my kitco brush my kitco uh, brush is my ultra uh, my ultra multi so it's a multi-use brush but great for powder 
great for powder. Um, and also the Shiseido Synchro, what was the finish name of that product? So this one is the Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing and it's a press, and it's called Alabaster, the shade I use, but it's a self-refreshing, the, the press version of the liquid foundation. Okay. But if you want a bit of coverage, I think you'd love this. I think, honestly. I think, I think absolutely I would love it. And can I just say, everything you're saying that you shouldn't do, I think you've been secretly spying on me doing my makeup. <laughs> no way. You are an expert. Come on. You're no, using, big brushes. You're not Google using quick. a big brush for your powder unless you want a full matte face. No. You're, and you're so right, the amount of people I know who literally almost use an enlarged eye brush and just mattify where needed. And it's, yeah. Keep so you get all the glow up. here and yeah. here. There, and there. Just... No one wants a sh like a shiny upper lip, so you can use it around there. But if you use a big brush on the top of your lip, you've got the risk of it like yeah. attaching to your peach fuzz. So just use a little tiny brush like this. There we go. Um, I'm just looking down here. I've got to mention this because it's literally, I've worn this shade, Nadine, for 10 years. The same color, big apple red. Um, I tag them every day. It's the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> so I'm almost like, I literally am like, OPI big apple red. I Is it I gel could, or normal? This one's gel, but this one's actually a normal one. So throughout lockdown, I was, I took the gels off and did it myself and I have it on my toes as well. But if I don't have this on, it feels like I haven't got a bra on. It's like, if I, it's weird. It's a weird thing. Are you skilled enough to do your own gels at home? No, I can't do gels at home. So I will just paint them if I need to. But um, yeah, it's just something that I've, over time, I, if I go to an event and they're like, can I, we do like a bit of nail art? I'm like, yeah, go on then. And within like an hour of me leaving, I have to go and get them done again. <laughs> it's just a bit of an obsession. And people say, well, when you get married, are you going to have like French, you know, French money? I'm like, no, I always have red. I'll, no. all, I'll be like... All red is a neutral. Yeah, red is a neutral, exactly. It's like wearing a lipstick. It's like wearing a lipstick. I am going to do a bright lip now, actually, while we're here. Why not? Okay. I totally agree with you, 100%. What's your... Let me see your nails. Uh, I went to dry nails today, and this is the new uh, green Manny, green flash Manny which is a gel mani, but it comes off in a minute and a half with normal nail polish remover. <gasps> but so it doesn't I'm chip. actually technically testing this. They say it only lasts about a week to 10 days though, but it did set under a UV light and I was ready to go straight away. Right, are these your natural nails? Have you got acrylics? They no, they're my, they're my natural nails. And the only reason they can grow like that is because I have a gel polish on them. Without them, my nails would break. So, because the gel polish hardens like your nails slightly. Go like that. They are the perfect length, all of them the same size. Uh, that one's slight, I broke that one off, but they're not bad. They look really good. So you can basically get this off with a, like a nail varnish remover and you can just go like that. And it's called Green Flash, Google it. It's brand new to the UK. I literally went to the launch of it today. Because that's the one thing is when they have to put the foils on and you have to wait there and then they kind of like go like that and you're just thinking, oh, come on. Like, I went in and I said on. to the manicurist, I said, I'm really sorry. I know this is a green eco makeup nail polish launch. I said, but I've got like nuclear winter proof local salon stuff. And she had to <laughs> scrape them and soak them. And... I do love a local salon for that. I mean, they drill the hell out of them. I'm a bit like, right, let's pretend this isn't happening. But you know what? Yeah, because you know, it's, it's so wrong to drill a natural nail. I but... always want to say, this is my natural nail, and they just ignore it. So I'm just like, yeah. okay, like, we just won't go there. Right, yeah. let's pop a bit of this on. Do you wear a bright lip sometimes? Uh, the Shantikai one I absolutely love. I, I should have had it here and I should have had my... i tell you what I'll do, everybody. I'll put my Shantikai lip and I'll put my... Um, Benefit. Oh, yeah. I'll put my bronzer on, my blush onto stories afterwards if you want to have a look. What well, colour is that? It's gorgeous. It's 402 and it's one of the Rouge Diamani Matte. So it's an Armani lipstick. But I love the fact that it's matte but it's non-drying. And... It doesn't make the teeth look yellow. So there are some orange-based lipsticks, which they do enhance any sort of yellow stains on the teeth. But for some reason, this one has, it must have an element of blue going through it because your teeth don't look at all yellow with it. I don't know what that is. but That's really interesting. And yes, to the person that just put a comment, comment on, I know that using rotating buffers and drilling your natural nails is not good, trust it's me. Terrible. I get it, I completely oh get it. Yeah, and so do I. And I'm, obviously I'm not promoting it in any sense because obviously... No. You know, it, it we know it's wrong, but it's, they do it anyway. 
Yeah. I don't mind on my toenails because my toenails are thicker, but my your fingernails it. Yeah, I'm always like, no, you can't. Um, just think a bit of a bit of pencil on here. Now, oh, somebody asked earlier on, how do you? And I think you're too young to suffer from this, but what do you use on somebody my age or your mum's age to stop lipstick bleeding? Right. First of all, this from QMS is the lip line corrector. Okay, and this is like a liquid that's like this. So as a treatment that I basically use every single day, but I keep it in my kit as well to use on everybody. So it preps the lips, it moisturizes it, but it also helps with any fine lines around the lips. So I'd say that's a really good treatment if you want to invest. I'd also say using a lip primer, but then also I would use my lip pencil all over the lip before putting anything else on. That goes for nudes as well. All over the lips, coat them, and then put your lipstick on top, then put another layer of lip pencil so you're and what lip pencils are you, do you love i love well i love pillow talk i do love it i don't really wear the lipstick i've got to say i think it's it kind of washes me out and it's got a bit it's a bit too cool toned for me i don't really like the lipstick but the actual lip cheek pencil that with balm on top is just the perfect shade that makes your lips you can enhance your lips make them look a bit bigger um but all of them all the charlotte tilbury lip pencils i love the mac lip pencils i love yeah probably my favorite yeah, I, I mean i have to say I, I mean i love pillow talk but uh the mac lip pencils i think are really good yeah they're amazing they've been they've kept the same formula all this for all these years and the nude ones like you've got your things like well subculture spice they've just been around forever and so they're very firm when you put them on the lip, which means they're not going to bleed. I think pencils should be firm. I think if you, you get the texture from your lipsticks, there's no point in having a wibbly wobbly lip line. I yeah, I mean, to anybody out there that's got a lip bleeding problem, your lip pencil has to be sharp and it has to be firm. If it's soft, it's not yeah. going to work. Because you can get gel lip liners. Yeah. Um, and I'm a bit like, they do have to be that kind of old school, you know, the original actual pencil vibes. Yeah. I do love these from Clarins. Oh I God. love those. Can I just say, do you oh. know Clarins? Are you listening, Clarins? Clarins used to do a, Ruby Hammer introduced me to it. They used to do a sort of balm stroke line filler. What, that the kept what, same your, shape as that? It, it was clear and it was basically a, a little bit like MAC Prep and Prime Lip, but better. Yes. Right, so kind of waxy. Yes. Because this does have a waxiness to it. And they've discontinued it. Right. Are so you, what's gonna... that waxy one there? That's the prep and prime for the lips. Yeah. And it was like that, but even better. So was this one that you'd put on with, with or without lipstick or just always under lipsticks? You, there you go, the lip base. It was called something like Clarins Lip Base and they discontinued it. And it was basically a softer form of prep and prime, but it would lock your makeup in. It was really clever. I wish they'd bring that back. Because there's no. not many. Clarins, are you listening? Clarins, honestly, these are amazing, though, right? I, I smell them. I'm like, what is? What are these smells? They're just. I'm all about the smells of products. This one is like a cream, strawberry, caramel, and I love the fact you squeeze a product through like that, and it just comes through. It's really moisturising, really popular. If you're going to buy a gift for someone, and you're not sure what they like. One of these would always be an absolute winner. I agree. What's that shade? This shade is number one shade number one i've also got in front of me body blur because i have honestly the palest skin and i i mean i do put fake tan on i do like the tanning drops on my face and stuff but for my body i just moisturize and i always use a laura mercier body butter which i've got one here i'm going to show you in a minute they smell amazing i always basically use these two together this doesn't smell of tan though it's no, because it doesn't have DHA in it. It's just a sort of soft focus makeup. It's a completely unique product and I love it. I love it as well. And you know what? You can get away with somehow having a shower after you've been at a party like the day before and you've used this. As long as you don't really scrub your legs. I mean, as long as you do your areas that you need to do, you don't have to scrub your legs. Um, be careful of your white towels. But then you basically get out of the shower and your legs are still with this on it for like a good two days. It it's you know we were talking about, about earlier on the Chanel bronzer that's got that soft focus filter it's effect. Same. It's like that, it's but for same. your body. It yeah. covers broken veins and bruises. It even minimizes stretch mites slightly, but sort of insect bites, shaving nicks. It's yeah. just brilliant. Do you use a mitt with it when you use it? No. I do it really <laughs> quickly. Most of the time I do it when I'm dressed. 
And I, I do as well. Like, oh, God, I can't get those legs out shit. And I do it really quickly. Like, point the dress And up. then I quickly wash my hands. Yeah. It, and do you know what the great thing about it is? It does rinse off. So you haven't got to worry about it all being down here. You know, like when you get tan in there, I'm always like, oh. The amount of times I've been on a shoot and the makeup artist has got that out of her kit and it doesn't matter what age the model is, if they're really pale and they've got like nicked, marked, shaved, insect bitten legs, a few broken veins or something, on that goes and it's just like soft it's focus. It's super model legs, literally. Instant. Golden skin on its best day. You don't need a lot of it. No. You don't need like a tiny bit and it goes a really long way. But this has been around forever. So this one's the almond coconut milk. It's a body butter, but they do an ombre vanilla. Now, sometimes I feel like these will alter the, the fragrance that you're wearing but somehow I can wear citrus fragrance I can wear spicy warming fragrances and it doesn't interfere with it in, in fact it actually makes it smell better I always wow. use this and people always say what's that and I've got the little tiny hand creams in my bag in my handbag and I just think they are it's just the one thing that I would not be without as a body butter and can I just say that that was actually co-created um when she was still part of that brand. Have you ever met Laura Mercier? No, I haven't. I would love to. Oh, the loveliest woman. Oh my, so how long ago was that, that she was part of it, or like fully, fully part of it? She was obsessed with, if you look at that packaging, she's obviously French and she was obsessed with the original packaging and it's an original recyclable aluminium, almost like a toothpaste packaging um, yeah. that came from French pharmacies. She's the yes. most delightful human being. And is she a makeup artist? Because I'm yeah. always like, she, she, the products that I try, like the, the concealers, everything, I'm always like, that has to have been created yeah. by a makeup artist. She's been yeah, around she, uh, she, ever used to do, she used to do a lot of really big movies and Hollywood stars back in the day. She used to work with Julia Roberts. She was Julia Roberts' makeup artist until she retired. She went down to the south of France with her girlfriend. And she lives in a massive, great big chateau now. Oh my Good God. Good on you, Laura Mercier. Cheers I love to you, it. Laura I love Mercier. It. You've got life sus. Literally, this is the only translucent powder as well in my kit that I carry around because you can get so many good pressed ones, but there's something about the Laura Mercier translucent powder and it doesn't ever look like powder. I know. So again, that's a real iconic product. That's how you can tell. If you look at her original bases and stuff like that, you can just tell. Oh, I tell you who she worked with um, as well as Julia Roberts. She was Sarah Jessica Parker's makeup artist till she retired as well. Oh, really? Harry? Love yeah. it. You know that Carrie's always got that really thick navy blue liner in. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the like Laura Mercier. Yeah. Are they called caviar eye pencils? Caviar eye, yeah. But yeah, yeah. you can't get them off. <laughs> I remember interviewing Sarah Jessica Parker. You can't. She just, she just slept in hers. Is it these ones, these bases, or is it the thinner ones? No, it's the, the ones, really thin the original thin ones. ones. Yeah, yeah. The caviar sticks, these ones are great as well, the bases. Everything yeah. about that brand, I'm always like, and at Christmas time, they do like the little miniatures. Yeah. I'm always like, everything about it, but that powder and this, if ever anyone wants to buy me a gift, like my, almost my family, they're like, what can we buy you? You've got everything beauty. I'm like, this, I get through so much of it. It comes um, in about, is it three or four different fragrances? Three, three of them. So the Ombre mm. Vanilla, there's a fig one, because I love everything fig. I've actually got a fragrance here. If you're looking for a fragrance which is under £30, Beauty Pie, Brazilian Lime Fig Tea Leaves. And it's like, oh my God. I'm putting some white on now, like literally. I mean, it's, it would be £100 if you're a non-member. But look yeah. at the size of it. Have you got a code? Have you got a share sent me? I do. Yeah, yeah. That's, I'll pop it in there for sure. Your, uh, is it the one of the boosted spend ones or is it £10 off the annual membership? I think it's £10 off the annual. Okay, so funny enough, I've got a video going up on Sunday, but this is Share's moment. So you use Share Sent Me, capital letters, and if you're a yeah. new member or you're uh, renewing your membership, instead of the annual membership being 50. £59, it's £49. £49. Yeah, and you get products like this at the most unbelievable price. Honestly, I'm always like, how much is that? I sometimes just have a look on the website just to be like, what? They do supplements, they do candles, skincare, and makeup. The Never Japan did. Fusion Cleanser is amazing. And can I just say, go and get uh, One Powder Wonder, which is a pressed setting powder. Yeah. In my opinion, Laura Mercier do the best loose setting powder. That's Beauty Pie One Powder Wonder is the best <gasps> pressed setting powder. And the brushes are amazing. Yeah. The brushes are fantastic. Marcy has so, just done such a clever idea. I'm very really impressed with what they do. For £49, the price of the, the products are unbelievable that you get on there. But I do have to talk about tuxedo. I 
just quickly, I know we're nearly up to an hour. This was our bonding moment. Tell them about the this event. This reminds me of you every time I wear it because we were doing an event for John Lewis and it was all fragrance based, wasn't it? And we talked about this, but you spoke about it. And I've always remembered that you told me about this being like a suit, tailored suit and all of that. And I, I just was like, do you know what? We both wear this. Look how much I've got left. It's so... I know I know a lot of the YSL, the Yves Saint Laurent fragrances, the commercial ones are quite sweet. If you look at the designer ones, and I genuinely can't remember the name of their portfolio of designer ones, yeah. Tuxedo is just the, it's, it's, it's the so smell sexy. of sort of Studio 54, nightclubs, it's got a hint of vanilla, leather, the it's battery. just gorgeous. Yeah, and it's really Moorish. Yeah. It's really Moorish, it's completely different to like you say, the sweeter ones that they have. If this is like, yeah, it's a real treasure. And I'm always like, why is this be like, how am I down to this already? Because Tom's loving it as well. <laughs> yeah. It's it's so beautiful, it's sort of gender neutral. Yeah. Just, it's that sort of, it's basically like the smell of Studio 54, the night that everybody who was anybody was there. It smells like you imagine Grace Jones would smell. Walking there, sat with the Bowie. Floor. Exactly. Um, one more fragrance. One more fragrance, Changing Constance from Penhaligons. This is sort of caramel based. So if you're all about that kind of sweetness, but not in a citrusy sort of like girly way, it just smells like, I'm putting this on top of the fig one, but it's actually just so, it's a good autumn winter one. It's got a real hint of like spice, but it's that salted caramel vibe. It's Can you choose your own heads on those Penhaligon fragrances? No, they all come with a different a different head. They've got a new one out, which is a dragon, but they all have, I mean, they're so ornamental, aren't they? Oh, they're stunning. And if you ever get the chance, anybody out there, if you get to a department store and you go and visit the Penhaligon standalone stores, they have these rotating little things and little droppers where you can test things. I mean, they're you just beautiful. You can smell it. You can walk out of a tube station and you can know there's a Penhaligon's like literally within a mile because you can smell it. How fetty is like, I think it's what they must almost splash out of the doors because I'm like, I can smell Penhaligon's are here. Yeah. Definitely. I love I it. I absolutely love it. I could keep going again. <laughs> okay, so that was absolutely brilliant. We're perfectly on time. You're amazing. Can I just say, probably not in the summer, but maybe in the autumn, should we just come back and do fragrance? Can we just, yeah, 100 million percent. I've got my collection here and I literally, I had to pick these, but I was like, there are so many, which mean all have a different story. And also I grab your mum's one so we can talk about that as well. So, oh so yeah. maybe the I'll Lulu. choose five fragrances, you choose five fragrances and we can talk about the history of how we fell in love Why? with them. Because for me, like Why? you said about Paloma Picasso, to me, it reminds me of the women I wanted to be when I was in my 20s and 30s, like the editors on magazines and fashion editors. And they were just the epitome of cool. And I was like, I want to smell that person. I want to be that person. <laughs> let's do 10 each. Yeah. You know, let's do 10 each. It'd be so hard to work it down to five. Oh let's God, do it, it soon. So hard. Brilliant. You've got a date. Yeah, amazing. You from a, I honestly I love this so much. It's gone so quickly though. It's just so much fun basically talking to people who know what they're talking about who know their stuff, are really talented, and just love beauty. And that's what Share Web is. Yay! I'll speak to you. Yay. Thank you guys for Can watching. I just say, can I have one last request? Yeah. Just a few stories from the boot camp. <gasps> oh my God, of course. And I'll DM you secret ones as well, being like, look at me. Like literally, of course. Of course <laughs> when I you're having complete with your caffeine withdrawals, you just with DM me and you're like, like, going, I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> of Thank you, Share. Bye everyone. Lots of love. love.